So I had a couple people suggest some ideas for the next mini PC to review. Someone suggested this one, which is basically a CPU similar to the mini laptop that doesn't have a keyboard, it's just a touch screen. I've looked at these little mini PCs that the size of USB drives. I've been looking at a few things and really nothing kind of compares to what I want, which is something like a PC that is literally the form factor of a phone. Something that you can have in your pocket, you can pull out and do actual PC type stuff, like maybe a little programming. Then I remembered, I have something like that. In fact, I have two. A couple years ago, I got into really wanting to have a Windows phone. It was like a weird time in my life, don't, don't question it. This is a Lumia 950. In fact, I got this Windows phone right before they announced that they were completely killing Windows. So what do you do when you have a phone that's completely useless and it's no longer useful? You try and hack it, or at least that's what I did. So I came across the Lumia WOA project, or Windows on ARM project. It's pretty sad that it takes a bunch of programmers from other countries to get together to program and build something that the actual manufacturer couldn't figure out how to do, or didn't want to do. Probably a combination of both. The Windows on ARM project is allowing you to dual load or completely replace your Windows mobile operating system with a fairly functioning Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating system that you can have in your pocket. It's not perfect. If you're into hacking and you're into messing with things, it's actually a fun little project to do. I warn you, there is the chance that you can brick your phone. I almost did that to both of these, particularly the 950. It's not good when it's screaming at you with a giant red screen. If I was able to get it to work, a lot of people can do it, and it's actually easier now. They have almost like drop and play firmware that you could do that will do it as long as you do the things in particular order. If you want to try this, one of the first things that you have to do is you got to go to the website. Now there's a couple different ones you can go to. I'll have the links for everything in the description below. This one here, this is the Lumia Windows on ARM project page. Main thing, you got the big caution, like there is the possibility that you could brick your phone. Also, don't use this as your main phone because you're playing with some experimental software. Uh, this phones are seven and a half years old. I don't know if these are the people's main ones. You know, you can use Continuum if you have it on the docks. First thing you have to do, unlock the bootloader. This is basically you're hacking the phone so that you can sideload Windows or other things into it. Once you could do it a couple times, it's actually not bad. You download some software. They actually have a Windows on ARM deployer, so this makes it pretty simple. It honestly has a step one, two, and three. And then if you have any questions, there's guides on how to do certain things. There's also the Windows on ARM project. They didn't just start sideloading it onto Lumia's. You can actually do it on the Duo's now. So you can have a dual screen Windows 10, Windows 11 device that is fairly functional. That's something you're interested in. There's a site that tells you how to do it here. There's tips, there's repositories, there's questions. The Lumia 950 and 950X were revealed back in October of 2015 and they were AT&T exclusives by November of that same year. That makes these phones over seven and a half years old right now. The 950 uses a Qualcomm Snapdragon 808. That combines two about 1.8 gigahertz A57 cores and four 1.44 gigahertz A53 cores. The 950XL uses a Snapdragon 810. That one has four 2 gigahertz A57 cores and four 1.5 gigahertz A53 cores. When you get Windows installed on these phones, there are some things to note. You actually don't get to utilize all of the cores of the CPU. You only have access to the larger A57 cores, so that makes the 950 slower and a little more unstable. You're only running a PC with two cores at that point. The 950XL has larger battery, the larger screen makes it a little easier to use full Windows 10 features, and that's typically the one that people look for more often, and they were fairly inexpensive at the time, several years ago. I know the first question people would ask is, can it play games? Can it play something decent? Can it be like a pocket Steam device? I haven't been able to put Steam on it yet, and trying to just install games to the Microsoft Store, it won't let you install onto the SD drive that's in the phone. I'll keep working on that, but if there's any games you want me to try, if I can get it to work, let me know. So what do you think? Is this something that you would try? Is this something that you have done? Let me know in the comments below. Maybe I can do some other videos of installing Windows 11 on this. Thank you everyone for watching, and until next time.